Okay, tubers, good morning. Well, it's raining outside, so there's uh, nothing to do outside. Well, there's plenty to do outside, but um, just can't do it because it's wet, rain. I like to get out and, and uh, work in the actual garden. But um, today, uh, God had different plans. So I'm going to go ahead and start potting up some stuff, some seeds, rather, um, and um, get them ready to go out into the garden. I'm struggling to get some of my stuff to come out up out there, so I'm going to go ahead and start it out here, in here, uh, get it going, and then carry it out and put it in the ground, uh, much like I did the tomatoes. Uh, and the uh, broccoli and cauliflower and I, that seems to be doing very well uh, planting it in, and, and starting it from seedlings uh, in the garden anyway just going to give you a, a brief look around um, my hydroponics I had to change my um, solution that other stuff was not working I am now using jungle juice and it is really t starting to take off so I'm excited about that. Uh, the stuff I got going in the grow bags is is all doing very well. I am working on my irrigation system now. You can see that up in the uh, on the uh, the side walls. And my this is my um, compost tea. It'll look quite a bit different when I do my video on the compost tea. I am working my compost tea into my irrigation system and I will ir irrigate my uh, raised beds and my grow bags and anything that I put uh, outside of my um, hydroponic systems will be automatically fed uh, with my irrigation and compost tea as the source of nutrients. But there you go. Quick update hopefully um, you can see without it bouncing around too much um, I've already started quite a bit um, I've got peas and pinto beans and bush beans going here's the stuff going to go in my uh, hydroponic system growing in the rock wool and you can see um, some of it's already come up so that video is up and coming. I have strawberries growing from seed. I don't know if you remember me doing a video last year on that or not. Um, but I, these are the seeds that came from my strawberries. And you can see that those are coming up as well. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief update. Things are still moving. Uh, it's a lot of work uh, getting all this going, but once I get it going and get a system and stay on top of it, uh, it should uh, start to look like a jungle around here, and that's what I'm excited about. Uh, I'll give you a quick look outside. Uh, this is underneath the... Uh, the roll up curtains and there's a lot of water in the garden but you can see over there it is um, I don't think it'll this this one doesn't zoom um, functions broken <laughs> but anyway there's a lot of stuff growing out there you just it's just hard to see it and I do have some exciting things going on in here Actually, Daniel does. Those are all cantaloupes. Been kind of cool. I've kept the curtains up. That's squash. And those are herbs down there. And that's, uh, I think that's a hyacinth. I can't remember what he said that was. Daniel's got that growing in a bucket. It's a flower of some sort. Anyway, that is it for now. I uh, just want to say God bless you and your families y'all if have a happy mother's day if i don't see you the mothers that are out there 
uh, and wish your mother a happy uh, Mother's Day. Don't forget that. Uh, they're special. I've learned a lot of what I do out here from my mother and my grandmother. In fact, most of it. Um, so be sure to uh, wish them a happy day. God bless you and your families. And go play in some dirt. See you next time.